Welcome back to NWF for a phenomenal singles contest between up and coming star Raya Flores and one of the hardest hitters in the company, former UEWA Cruiserweight Champion TJ. And of course, I'm your English commentator TJ Lee, like the man's namesake. But yeah, there's a lot of energy in Raya Flores' corner. NWF really behind this young man. What a feather in his cap it'd be. What a feather in his cap it'd be if he could take down TJ here, but you know, some respect, some respect here, but TJ wants him to know, don't overlook a pillar of the company. Both men getting the energy of the crowd behind them. Over tie up. High flying Raya Flores, hard hitting TJ. Beautiful flip out to get the pressure off. Raya off those ropes, flips it around, reverses the pressure, and a nice deep arm drag. Maintains wrist control. Flores knows he's got to be on his A game, and right there's why TJ flips up, pushes him straight down, and gets the wrist. Free checking, Arayo wants to continue, rolls to get the pressure off, ducks the line from TJ, ducks another, goes up, floats around, head scissors, take down. Beautifully done by Raya Flores, the crowd come alive. And goes out, but no, caught by TJ. The veteran scouts it. Pushes Ryo up, but Ryo learning quickly, floats TJ off to the apron and jumps up for a drop kick. Sends it to the outside. Learning on the job. And Ryo Flores goes middle rope suicide dive. Beautifully done. Take a seat, and he gets a chop for his troubles. Crowd asking for one more, and uh, goes for an open hand chop now, like a bear chop that. Oh, but TJ, like I said, hardest hitter of the company, staggers him with a palm strike and a chop of his own. Raya fires back, throws him into the ring. Oh, but took too long. Meets a kick from TJ. Oh, short DDT. Right on the skull, lateral press, two, no. Have to be honest, weird hearing my namesake being chanted by the crowd, but Unlike me, TJ has firmly earned it. As he picks him up. Oh, pop up, palm strike. That a big boss rooting proud. He goes in for another. A reverse pin. North South pin, I should say. Maya kicks out. Throws close to the corner, big elbow. And a huge clothesline. Goes for uh, an aggressive pin cover, but not enough. TJ not satisfied, center of the ring, now has Flores in a cross face. And Flores wisely uses those long limbs to ensure that the count has to be broken. And TJ breaks before the five. He knows that maintaining it means extra damage. And the NWF faith will get him behind Ryo here. Oh. 
Shot to the midsection, softens up Flores. Oh, it goes up. Get scored though. Oh! Reversal and reversal, Flores. No, and reversed again. Negre Gadini T. And originally I thought TJ might be going for that Kelsus drop, or maybe even the 54 Kelsus. Now there's the five minute mark of this contest. Neither man's pulled out their aces yet. Ryo has the lightning stomp. TJ has the 54 Kelsus or the Kelsus drop. I made a mistake, the veteran is firmly in the driver's seat right now. Referee admonishing TJ. I don't think he was doing anything. I think he's just trying to grab him by the mask. He's got to, he's got to grab something. Of course, TJ's a hard hitter, so some people won't like that he's hurt. One of their other favorites. And Flores goes in with that springboard clothesline. Bates in TJ with the kick. And we could see, goes up. Oh, but caught TJ, drops down, knees to the midsection. Oh, hellacious lariat, one, two, oh, so close. But TJ smells blood in the water. As he hooks, Flores picks him up. Oh, brain buster, hooks the leg, two, oh, so close. TJ saying that's it, as he maintains wrist control, goes for 54 Kelsas. Oh, but blocked by Flores into the cutter. And now the pendulum momentum has shifted into Flores' favor. He feels it, top rope. Oh, and TJ scouts it, maybe a little bit too slow, Flores taking too much damage. TJ in a precarious position, Flores fighting back. Big snapping chop. Oh, a cheeky Nando's. And he's got TJ up on his shoulders, power up position. Oh, one, two, three, and that's it. A hellacious sit-out powerbomb after a shot to the musher protected. Ryo Flores moves up the ranks and makes his way past one of the hardest hitters in MWF. Take nothing away from TJ. He went for the 54 kills, but there was just enough of the tank and Flores capitalized. The sky is the limit for Flores. And I'm sure on any other night it could have gone another way. But this last man, this inferno, shows that he is the future of NWF.